I don't know why DMT is uh, is so prolific throughout the you know plant and animal kingdom, and I don't really know why it's in the brain. There are theories that uh, it may be responsible for um, a psycho some kind of an endogenous uh, compound that produces psychosis. Theories that it may be produced um, during mystical states. Um, you know, they're tantalizing hypotheses. I, I don't know that there's strong evidence, but it certainly is worth taking a look at. Um, you know, why is it there? Usually, you know, things don't produce a substance. The brain doesn't produce a substance unless it's there for a reason. So if the human brain is producing DMT, what is it there for? I don't know if it's produced um, during mystical experiences. The studies that have been done have basically looked at normal people or, or post-mortem, and I think if it's produced in mystical experiences, you're not likely to find it. If it's produced during mystical experiences at high concentrations, that's sort of when you would have to do the analysis. Find someone who is having a spontaneous mystical experience and somehow do an analysis that would determine whether DMT was in their brain at that point in time. My questions would also probably center around could it be produced in times of stress? So people that have so-called uh, spontaneous mystical experiences quite often are coupled with periods of stress, uh, long periods of fasting or self-flagellation or meditation, stress-provoking um, situations. And in Rick Strassman's study, he showed that stress cortisol went up and prolactin went up and vasopressin went up. And is it possible that prolonged stress could somehow alter the expression of the gene and methylase that produces DMT in the brain and so that under periods of stress you actually could see increased concentrations. So although I think normally the concentrations of DMT, there's no evidence that they really do anything, I think the question has not been answered as to whether under periods of prolonged stress DMT could be produced where you'd have changes in gene expression, gene regulation that might actually produce concentrations that would produce some sort of a psychoactive state.